On January 26, Lisa Manaban took the spotlight at the 2024 La Gala des Pieces Jaunes, captivating audiences with her astonishing performance. Social media platforms, particularly the Chinese app Weibo, erupted with excitement as a video from the concert went viral. In the footage, French First Lady Brigitte Macron is seen bringing Lisa to the center stage, a move that resonated deeply with Chinese netizens. The video, now with over 2 million views, showcases Lisa standing in the corner initially, only to be gracefully led to the center by First Lady Brigitte Macron for a group pictorial with other artists and the president of the Paris Hospitals of France Foundation. International fans lauded the moment, emphasizing the significance of the center stage in Chinese culture and expressing their admiration for Lisa's popularity. In addition to her remarkable performance, Lisa became a hot topic for an unexpected reason, her stunning outfit. Adorned in a gold bedazzled jumpsuit paired with a metallic corset, Lisa's attire drew comparisons to the iconic Golden Trophy awarded at the Oscars. Social media platforms were flooded with comments praising Lisa's flawless appearance, with netizens playfully likening her to a precious trophy. The comparison between Lisa's outfit and the prestigious trophy quickly gained traction, with many expressing admiration for her regal and award-worthy appearance. A day before her mesmerizing performance, Lisa attended a dinner at LSA related to the event. Adrian, an orchestra member, shared a post featuring Lisa looking stunning and graceful in a Dior crop jacket from the crew's 2024 collection in Ecru Wool and Silk. Fans highlighted the renowned brand, Dior, and noted that this marked Lisa's third time wearing the brand for this event. As a brand ambassador for Celine, the frequent choice of Dior outfits sparked curiosity about the nature of their partnership. Also seen in attendance were Rihanna, Kenji Jirak, ASAP Rocky, Frederick, and Alexander Arnold. Creating anticipation among fans to witness Lisa's interactions with these legendary figures. Hopefully, we can witness those precious moments. In other news, in recent developments, Jenny and Rose have confirmed that they are currently working on new music outside of Korea, specifically in Los Angeles. A YG staff member recently posted a photo from inside an airplane, with Rose. Notably, Rose was seen traveling with Jenny's team of managers. Fans are speculating about the possibility of them frequently shuttling between Korea and overseas locations, keeping their activities discreet. Some have even raised the question of whether the posted photo could be from an old pictures. Will we get a Chani sub-unit? Or will Jenny appear in Rose's album, or vice versa? As anticipation builds, fans eagerly await the release of the new music that Jenny and Rose have been diligently working on. What do you think?